Monsieur Arahau. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Mrs. Ford. Uh, the Commission seems to be unable to make up their mind about the aim and motivation of certain elements of this proposal. The proposal text speaks of terrorism. In our committee hearings, the Commission talks about terrorism. We have shown the Commission time and again that Category B7 firearms, with which the Commission seems to be obsessed, have nothing to do with terrorism. The Commission response has been that actually the proposal is not about terrorism, it is about long-term security and gun control. Well, if that is the case, what is the urgency? Why is there no impact assessment as required by the better regulation guidelines? It is up to the Commission to show why it is necessary to ban and confiscate people's legal property, take away their hobby, and kill a large number of small and medium-sized businesses. You must show with facts and figures that B7 firearms are a problem. In our committee hearings, the Commission says that you want to ban Kalashnikovs. That is good propaganda because Kalashnikov sounds scary. This, however, is not what the proposal says. It says in the proposal that you want to ban semi-automatic firearms which resemble automatic firearms. That definition covers virtually all semi-automatic rifles used in modern sports shooting. You say that your proposal is based on studies and their recommendations. On the website of the European Parliament, one can find an in-depth analysis of the proposal. The evaluations and studies to which you refer and which are summarized in the analysis make several recommendations, especially concerning data exchange, markings and deactivation standards. They do not mention B7 firearms or a need to transfer them to the A category. Your proposal is not based on studies. Thank you very much.